friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm so happy to see you today. I'm here with Ellie, my little Yorkshire Terrier, and there she goes. Every, t every time she's ready for a nap, she's yawning, and I am just glad to see you today. Let me, let me just get my screen... Um, out like that and see who we've got on today. Thank you for stopping by. We are going to have a lot of fun today. We are going to make a clean and simple card, which is different from what I normally do. I rarely make a clean and simple card. Most of my cards are um, fluffy and have real, you know, ribbons and lace if I can and pretty colors and doilies. But today I want to make a clean and simple card for you. And the one thing I wanted to focus on um, is celebration, because celebration right now is February 17th, 2021, and celebration will be over on the, on the 28th. So you've got 11 days until celebration's over and you can't get any free gifts anymore. So I want to show you another uh, free gift, a stamp set that I don't think we've looked at before on my lives. Hi, Allison. Good to see you. Clean and simple cards are elegant. Yes, they are. Hey, Patricia. So, but before we get into it, I want to ask, how is everyone? Now, Allison lives near me. Patricia, I'm trying to remember where you live just right off the top of my head because there has been so much, you know, it's been so concerning for the rest of the country. My sister-in-law lives in, uh, outside of Houston and they've had a terrible time. They had pipes break and burst and um, they had no heat last night. Then the power went on this morning and she just texted me that it's gone off again. And I just feel so bad for them, really praying for everyone in that bad weather area. Oh, Patricia, that's right, New Hampshire. Um, have you been hit with this very bad, you know, worse than your normal kind of uh, storm? I'll wait a minute to see because I know there's a little delay. Hi, Marcia. Um, yes. It's, oh, it's, yes. I know <clears throat> it's the Texas people that are having such a bad hit because they're not used to this at all. Like some of the rest of you are New Hampshire, totally um, used to it. Hi, Avanel. Good to see you. So let's all be praying for the for the people of Texas and all the others in those in those areas. It's very scary for them. Um, and maybe some of them are watching and if their electricity is on and they can have a little um, just a little respite from the terrible weather. I don't know. Or maybe they'll watch it afterward. I hope so. So um, anyway, I'm talking about celebration because it ends in 11 days. And the reason I like to let you know about it, let me get this in the right place, there we go, is, and many of you know, that you get a free gift with every $50 purchase and another kind of free gift with a $100 purchase or order. So I don't want you to miss out if you have things to order. Uh, this is a good time of year to order uh, basics like basic white paper, uh, inks that you don't have, adhesives, anything that's something that you've got on your list, order it now be while you can get a free gift. And those things add up, those basics. And what, we're, what the set I want to focus on today, I don't think I focused on before, is called Heal Your Heart. And I'm, I'll show it a minute in a different way. But it has the most beautiful fonts and the most beautiful sentiments. Hey, Sue, good to see you. So I want to focus on that today, and we're going to make a clean and simple card with that. Now I'm going to put Ellie down to take her little nap, and I'm going to switch us to the other view. Um, let's see. There we go. Let me see. There we go, it just took a few minutes. Okay, this is the stamp set we're gonna to use today, Heal Your Heart. And the sentiments here are, we're in this together. I have one uh, premiering tomorrow on my um, pat, cold and snowy St. Louis, burr, good to see you. 
Hey, Justin. Yep, it's that pink bow on Ellie. So I have a card that's going to be on my blog tomorrow that's going to use, we're in this together, and I'll give you a little hint. It's going to have a little picture of a dog just like Ellie. So be watching on my blog, and I'll post it on the Facebook page too. I always do. Um, sorry for your loss. Wishing I could heal your heart. Thank you. And then um, some other little inside sentiments. So I wanted, you can get this free with a $50 order. So I wanted to use it today so that in case you haven't really focused on it, you'll know and you'll know and you won't want to miss it. Hey, Pam, uh, Pam and Pat. Yes. Um, okay, so I'm just going to run through the celebration catalog really quick. The, the, all the gifts are available right now. Nothing is on back order. The beautiful um, paper blooms, the donkey, darling donkeys, that was on back order for a while and now it's returned. Um, the Oso oh Ombre, that was on back order, it's returned. Uh, approaching Perfection, I feel like I've used that once with um, on our Facebook Live. I haven't used the Corner Bouquet even though I have it. It's a pretty set. And then here is Heal Your Heart. And here are some sample cards that they made with it here. Very pretty. And Flower and Field Designer Series Paper. It's a little hard for you to see, isn't it? Then for a $100 order, you can get a touch of ink. Seriously, this is my second favorite of the celebration um, offers. But you know because I've told you my favorite is the Berry Blessings stamp set and very delightful designer series paper you get both for a hundred dollar order and i think i've said it before but um, we all love it and we've been asking if they could uh, have it continue and you know after celebration but we don't know so if you love this please get it before february 28th because you'll be sorry that you don't you can't buy them separately you have to get the stamp set and the paper, and that you can't buy them at all. They come together as a gift for a $100 order. But please get them if you want them, because they may not be coming back. Okay, let's see the card we're gonna make today. Now, for me, this is clean and simple. I'm not sure if you'll all think it's clean and simple or not, but um, if I was in the South, I'd say, y'all, do y'all think it's clean and simple? <laughs> um, so here's the card. And it's basically a lot of white. I know that's one of the things for a clean and simple card, just a lot of white space. And I've used very few things here. And the sentiment I've chosen is sorry for your loss. I'm a little bit um, empty in my stash on my condolence cards. And so I need to build that up. And I think this font and this sentiment is so pretty. So let's see how to make it. And first, we're gonna look at the stamp sets. We looked at the Heal Your Heart, and then this is the other set we're using. It, actually, the bundle, the perennial, Pretty Perennials bundle. And these are the dies. This is the leaf, and I've pre-cut some of these for our card today already. And you can see, I think it's one of the prettiest leaves, I've, or group of, grouping of leaves that I've seen in a really long time. Yes, they are pretty, Pam, I agree. And this is the dye for those leaves. So I've already cut two out for us today from white. And then we're also going to be using, um, there are all these dyes, lots of dyes. They're beautiful. And we're going to be using the large flower dye, um, all enclosed. Whoops. And then we're going to be using this kind of, this is one of the dyes I absolutely love in this set. This neat floral dye and we're going to have it go right inside the larger flower so this is the die set and then just for fun I think I might have shown you on the uh, envelope I've used this little uh, flower right here this flower stamp it's kind of like a distinctive stamp in that it has um, watercolor look you know I also tried an envelope with the little open flower, which is cute also, but, um, and I use that on the inside of our sample, but I really like this one. I think this is more subdued for, uh, thank you, Pam, for sharing. 
Allison, you or you ordered this. Yes, you did, and they are beautiful. So this is the bundle we're using today. So let's get started, and I'll just I'm going to show you. I like to show you also a couple of techniques or some things that are fun. So we're going to start with a piece of. Um, I'm still using up my whisper white, but you would use your the basic white is what they're selling now. I'm almost out of my whisper white too, and it's eight and a half by uh, five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And then we're going to have our second layer piece, which is uh, four inches by, excuse me, this is five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and this is four by five and a quarter. I hope I said that right. And so this is going to be really what we put everything on. So I'm going to start with that. And what I want to show you today is a little uh, faux, F-A-U-X, watercoloring technique using your stamp and blends. Now I wanted to do it real light and soft because it's going to be a, a sympathy or condolence card. But you can do this with any stamp and blends by using the brush end, the brush tip, and make a watercolor marking. Sometimes we get stamps that are a watercolor that look like a, a, a stream of watercoloring. And those are great too, but without watercoloring, you can get the same effect by using your stamp and blend. And I'm just gonna put it down and do like this, as if I were just sweeping across with, uh, with watercolors. And it really, it's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be totally straight. And I'm kind of turning my brush end, um, I don't know, just to get some little different coloring on it. Just like that. That's all you need to do. And we're just gonna go down about like here and I'm gonna fill in. So that is one technique thing for you today is you can create your own watercolor look, watercolor um, background with the Stampin' Blends. And I just love that. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put our leaves right over the top of that watercolor look just like this and there is kind of a method and I'm going to use it another time where you cover your entire backing sheet here and really get all these little pieces stuck down so it almost looks like they're part of the backing piece. I'm not going to do that today and if I were I would have put uh, the self-adhesive on the back and cut the die out that way but I'm, I want this to be a little bit loose so I'm going to use my um, trusty multi-purpose glue and I'm going to start with this leaf right here and I always tell you just little dots and really that's all it takes just little tiny dots and if you get too much you just move it along so it's just the thinnest little layer of, of glue right there tiny tiny dots and thin thin layer and then what we're going to do is hold it for just a second so that it has a time to set up and that way it won't uh, hopefully won't smear so I think we've got you can see where there's a little width there and you can put a little a little dot of glue in there so we'll just let it set for just a second just a little second because it helps it to stick down faster and better and now I'm just going to hold it over the area where I want it to be. And I'm just going to press and do not move it. Just press and let it sit lightly while we do the other one. And then we can press a little more later um, because we don't want anything to go come outside of the of the uh, of the lines here. Because what happens? You've done it before. I know if you're a stamper. Um, if you have too much glue and it comes out of the lines and into the, you know, out from under what you're gluing, what happens is your card becomes sticky. And it can stick to your hand, it can stick to the inside of the envelope, not a good deal. So that's why the tiniest dots, a tiny layer, tiny dots, just like this. And now I'm going to get the little stem here. Again, just a little. You know, these are very lightweight cardstock pieces, and it doesn't take much to hold them for a super long time. 
So don't worry that your, that your uh, piece would come off. Now for this, I think I want to put this leaf in this empty spot here. Let's see how I'm going to do that. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll just do it right like this. Because I want the two stems to come together so that my flower can sit over top. And see how nice that looks? And I'll hold it up so you can see. I don't usually put any glue on the tips and then they lift just a little bit and it gives it a little bit more dimension. You can see that. And it looks lovely over the watercolor wash, doesn't it? Okay, now we're going to get out our little mini, not all the glue stay sticky, yes. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I've got our mini cut and emboss machine, the little baby boss, like I call him. And a hint for this, if you have this little guy, store your plates um, by putting it, you know, turning the handle and getting them right in the center there. And store your plates that way, it keeps them flat, keeps them from getting bowed. So I'm gonna roll them out and I'm gonna put on um, my flowers. And as I mentioned, we have Here's my first piece of, uh, again, basic white or whisper white. And we're gonna put on the larger flower die, which is solid. And then this is the kind of the outline one that you can put in the center, or you can use it all by yourself. There have been some beautiful things done with that, with that flower die, that outline one. And then we put our plate on and we just start running it through and it just goes right through this little baby boss. Okay. You guys are hearing though, aren't you? Marsha's saying somebody's live video has no sound. You're hearing though, aren't you? Let me know if you're hearing. I hope you are. Okay, so here are our die cut pieces. Here's the, the solid flower, and here I'm going to have to get this guy out with a little pin. You've seen me use this um, upholstery pin before to just pop out some little die, die cut pieces. So there we go. There are little cute flowers that we're going to use, and again, we don't want too much. We're not, thank you, Allison. We don't want too much. This is our clean and simple card. So I actually think now is the time that we can put, now that we've colored this piece and adhered our leaves, I think we can put it right on our card front like that. You could um, raise it up with dimensionals if you wanted to. I'm going to lay it flat. One thing I'm thinking of is definitely mailing. I don't, I, I don't want it to be I don't know, I just want it to be a simple for these for the person who gets it. I don't have a person in mind, but I don't want it, I just want it to be nice and simple. And all they do is open the card. It doesn't have any big embellishments on it because they would have to, you know, then it might poke through the envelope. I don't, I just want it to be very simple. So what we're gonna do to start is we're gonna take our large flower, our solid flower piece, and we're gonna do a little water wash on that too with our stamp and blend because we're not going to really see the flowers itself like that we're going to see through it and i know this is so light it's probably hard for you to see can you see that water wash on there that light blue it's seaside spray if i didn't tell you that and then we're going to adhere this little um, outline flower outline isn't that i just love that little dye so again, we're just gonna put dots of glue right in here, right around the inner circle. Not too much, just a few dots. And that'll be fine. That's all that really needs to stick on there. Now, what you can, if you need to, if you feel like you need to, I guess I don't, but I think these edges right in here, right here, are, they're shaped to kind of go with the curves of the edges of the flower. And so if you really cared, you could definitely, um, you know, 
really study it and put those in sync. But I don't want to go to all that trouble because we don't need to. It, we want it to be more of a kind of an artistic, kind of just a general thing. So here's our flower. And you know what I really should have done before I adhered my big piece? I forgot to stamp, didn't I? So let's stamp our sentiment. And again, this is um, so sorry for your loss. And I love this font on this Heal Your Heart stamp set. I just love that font. And so we're going to use Seaside Spray Ink. Now, I also, you know, I usually have a little alternate plan in case I should make a mistake. And so what I'm going to do, I have a piece, a strip of paper that in case I get this stamp crooked on the bottom here, that I will, I could have a piece of paper to lay across and stamp it again. But I, I had a good, uh, you know, a good experience with it making the sample card. The trick is just to get enough ink on there because it's a very light ink. And we want the ink to really show. So I'm really taking time to get that ink on there. Oh boy, and now I've got a little bit coming off on the edge. So I'm gonna wipe that off. Sometimes I use a um, an actual wipe, you know, a, but this time I'm not. I'm just using a Kleenex. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get this on straight. It went on great. Some stamps just go on great. Some stamps are just real easy to stamp. And this one did that. Yes, I could use the Stamparatus. I know, I hear you guys. <laughs> no, it's not see-through, but it, it really, it isn't too bad. I probably could have gotten it a hair a bit straighter, but it's not bad. Sorry for your loss. Isn't that pretty? And now we're gonna adhere this. I am gonna use a couple of dimensionals to adhere the flower. And I thought about per putting a pearl in, I think I'll just use one dimensional actually. I thought about putting a pearl in the center, but again, I just, I want it to be really simple. So I'm just gonna put that flower down there enough to co cover the stems. And now let's stamp that little um, color, kind of watercolored look flower that I showed you earlier. We'll put that on the inside, just right here. See how pretty that looks? It's. I always feel like I need to hold things up for you guys because I don't feel like you can see it well enough from that distance. And then we have an envelope. Do we have an envelope? Oh, I have the envelope I already did earlier that has the open flower on it. Now I've been, I've been thinking that you could definitely do this with any color, right? You could do this with any color. I kind of wanted to make it workable for a male or female, um, or even a boy or girl or anything. I wanted to have it pretty neutral so that um, I could just grab it out of my card box when I need to. I, I like being able to do that because sure enough, if you need to send a sympathy card, you know, you don't necessarily have the time to, to create exactly the right one. So I was also thinking we could use, um, you know, you could use like a crumb cake stamp and blend. The crumb cake is the light brown. Um, you could use any color, and if you know it's going to be a, a woman, you could use like Flirty Flamingo. But I like, I kind of like the blue because it's just very light and soft. It barely shows, and that's what I wanted. And so do you think this is a clean and simple card? You know, I hardly ever make them, but I kind of think it is because I know it's supposed to be a lot of white space. It could have been even simpler. I guess we could have just had the watercolor wash and the sentiment maybe, but I, I really like it. And I love the wording from this heel. Thank you so much, Betty. My mom's name was Betty, beautiful name. 
So I really love this Heal Your Heart. I think this is one I'll be keeping for a, a long time, this stamp set, because the font is so beautiful, and especially for an occasion like, like this. So I don't want you to miss out on, on celebration. I want to make sure that you're going to get what you want in time. So remember, February 28th is the last day for celebration. That's 10 days from today. It's a Sunday. And you can order on weekends online in my online shop. My um, The link to that is right up above. And I thank you so much for stopping by. And look at my vlog tomorrow because uh, tomorrow I'm going to have a little card that's going to have a little dog just like Ellie. And I hope you like it. I think it's kind of cute. And I'll post it on, on Facebook too. So be safe. I hope you guys are all okay. And I'll see you Friday at 4 o'clock Pacific. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.